Welcome members and guests of the Cities and County Subcommittee. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Like to welcome everyone and uh, today. My name is Jerome Moon. We'll be uh, joined each week by some people who make this committee work and I'd like to recognize them. Many of you already know my legislative assistant, Lucas Hutchison, who's in, been put aside. <clears throat> my, Elizabeth Ashwood will be our research analyst this year. Doug Garrett will join us from legal. And at this time, I'd ask the members if they would please introduce themselves, beginning with uh, Member Chisholm. Turn. Representative Chisholm. On, on your mic, please, sir. Thank you. Hey, everybody. I'm Representative Jesse Chisholm from Memphis, Tennessee, District 85. I have the state, I have the state line, so uh, I'm our last line of defense for our state. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm uh, John Crawford. I represent the 1st District, and I've got the other end of the state I protect on the state line in the uh, Bristol area. Uh, Dave Wright, um, I'm in the middle of that East Tennessee part with the east side of Knox County. Thank you, Vice Chairman Wright. I'm Jerome Moon. I represent District 8, which is Blount County. The the beautiful part of Blount County. Leader. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, Ron Gant, represent District 94, which is uh, Fayette, Hardeman, and uh, McNary. Thank you all. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you'll take the roll, please. Vice Chairman Calfee, Representative Chisholm, Here. Chairman Crawford, Here. Leader Gant, Here. Chairman Helton. Uh, Excused. Excused. Okay. Representative Miller. Excused. Uh, Vice Chairman Wright. Here. Chairman Moon. Present. Mr. Chairman, you have a quorum. Thank you, Mr. Hutchison. Are there any personal orders at this time? Seeing none, we'd like to, we have no calendar today, but we'd like to review the subcommittee rules and policies. We will plan to meet each Tuesday at 9 a.m. in House Hearing Room 3. I'd also like to discuss a few of the rules that may help us all. Bill notices for this subcommittee will be turned in by 3.30 p.m. each Wednesday in order for that bill to be heard in the upcoming week. Be sure to submit your bill notices through the portal. Amendments for Tuesday committees will be filed by 10 a.m. on Monday. Remember, the amendment, amendments must be submitted electronically to the House Local Government Committee. Amendments must be signed and they must be submitted electronically to a corresponding email list. Bills passed by the subcommittee will be automatically placed on the next full committee calendar unless the committee receives a written request from the sponsor to set another hearing date. When there are numerous uh, persons on a list to speak on an issue, the chair may be impose a limit for the testimony and comments. Guest speakers need to be pre-approved by the chairman no later than 24 hours in advance of the meeting. Caption bills must be approved by the speaker's office before being heard in the committee. Also, if, if the bill opens up a substantial part of Tennessee code, the sponsor must agree to send the bill back to committee if the bill passes out of the committee as amended on the floor of the house. Be respectful of others. Please turn off your cell phones, put them on silence while in committee. Also, please limit texting and internet browsing while the committee is hearing testimony. No live streaming or recording will be allowed by members or by guests without 24 hours notice prior to the meeting. That notice would be given to the chair. Documents, handouts, and PowerPoint presentation materials will require at least 24 hours notice to the chair. Calendars will be emailed to your office each week rather than being hand delivered. Bill packets and fiscal amendment packets also will be emailed to your office. To, can be, to be consistent with many other committees, since we now have access to information by electronic means, hard copies will no longer be distributed to your office. So also help us prevent the spread of COVID. If you'd like a hard copy, ask your legislative assistant to print you one. In accordance with House Rule 83, any bill or resolution may only be calendared three times. 
If on the third calendar the bill does not report out of the committee, the bill will be placed on a special calendar by the chair to be published on the final calendar. If that juncture the bill is not reported out of the committee, the bill will be returned to the clerk's desk. Roll call votes. Sponsors may request roll call vote prior to when the vote's taken or prior to the question being called. If members would like a roll call vote, it will take at least three members of the committee to request that. The chair may request a roll call vote at any time. If changing a charter legislation must be accompanied by a local resolution, this resolution must be submitted to the chairman's office prior to the committee meeting. This should wrap up today's business. We don't have any bills before us. Before we close, does anyone have an announcement? Chairman Crawford, do you have any yes, guidance? Just letting, everyone, uh, just letting everyone know that the full committee will be meeting at 12 o'clock in House Hearing Room 1 today. I would like everyone in the audience to thank them for being here today. So there's nothing else to come before us. Without objection, we'll stand adjourned. Hearing no objection, we're adjourned.